10, in the moments and days after the Joplin tornado, a team from Tulsa was on the ground with their search dogs. Such operations became vital in the rescue efforts. 2 News reporter Jason Grubbs joins us live with more on that team doubling in size. Jason? Well, Russ, the uh, Tulsa Fire Department has added four new dogs, doubling the size, as you mentioned, to eight now, and those animals are critical when searching through some difficult debris. In a remote part of Tulsa, you'll find tons of broken concrete set up as a mock disaster, a training ground for the four new members of the Tulsa Fire Department. Firefighters hide in the rubble, and the search dogs go after them. To the pups, this is all a game. Get it, Rooster! Get that dog! All right, so the victim at this moment has the toy. As time goes by and the dogs become more um, adept at what they're doing, then the handler will have the toy. But when it comes to real life situations, it's a matter of survival. Building collapse, tornado, man made or natural disasters. Good job. There's numerous people missing. There's um, no way to really find them if they're buried deep in the rubble. As you can see, what they can do in that time. You and I could walk around here for hours, and if the victim was unconscious, we would never, ever know where they were. That's why that scenting ability that dogs have is just a gift for us. That gift has been used several times in recent years, from the Pitcher tornado in 2008 to Joplin, where many people waited in the rubble. Back here at home, it will be continuous training, waiting for the next disaster to hit, knowing that when it does, these dogs will be ready to help. And that training site there up in North Tulsa isn't only used by Tulsa crews. Uh, Oklahoma City brought out five of their dogs today to go through some of those exercises. When live from Midtown Tulsa tonight, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you. Oh, they do remarkable work. And while the grants help fund the disaster team, it does not pay for the dogs. That money was raised through a nonprofit organization.